So Anjali, um, Empathy Lab actually kicked off with um, us being inspired by the research which shows that your characters, authors' characters, help us readers understand other people better and make us more sensitive in real life towards other people's feelings. It's just extraordinary. So I'm really fascinated by how you do that um, and how, so in the boy in the back of the class, when I read it, um, I cry because I identify with your characters. That's you made amazing. me care about them and I'm really interested to know how you do that. Um, I think that kind of trick, the word trick, is to make sure that the characters are someone you can relate to. So the narrator is someone that's immediately identifiable because you would have been a schoolgirl. You would have gone to a school. You would have known what it's like to have someone new walk in one day. Um, and be able to understand where it is that they're coming from first. So the narrator is absolutely crucial into making sure that they draw you in as the reader, that you're on their side from page one. Um, and then we've got to Ahmed, who is a foreign character in so many ways, not just to the narrator, but to you as the reader. Because I think, uh, just on a very general basis, we're all hearing about refugees, and we're all hearing that word being kind of banded around, but we don't really know what it means. It doesn't have a human face. And often when it does have a human face, it's a hostile one. It's someone that's someone who's dangerous and who's attacking us and coming to take everything away from us. So Ahmed's character is absolutely the um, opposite to what the narrator is. He's a mystery, he doesn't have a story. Yes. Um, but it's someone that you want to know about, just like the narrator. So um, being able to understand where it is that both of those very um, kind of pivoting characters are from and the very different worlds they've come from, but they're meeting on a common ground, they're meeting on a ground that you will understand, which is the school. Um, and one that you'll be able to relate to hopefully straight away. So um, taking the familiar and the unfamiliar and bringing it back to a space where you can completely understand um, and in a language that you'll be able to understand as well is absolutely crucial. So hoping, I'm hoping that the work that I've been able to do that. I'm really glad that it has been at least. Yeah, and, and I'm so interested in what you're going through in order to affect my feelings and therefore to grow my empathy. So if I'm wanting to cry because I've, I care so much about it, what yeah. they're doing. What are you feeling like when you're writing them? Absolutely the same in so many ways. I, and I want to convey that care. I want to convey how deeply those characters matter to me. So if I can do that and it's making you feel how I was feeling at that moment, um, then that's absolutely fantastic. And there are, I mean, I, as I said, I'm an unplanned writer, so things are happening almost as the characters want them to. So their stories are still unknown to me by the time I get to them yeah. in many ways. Um, so there's tissues and chocolate oh. on standby <laughs> for when those really harsh moments um, do come. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic to be able to use words to convey what it is I'm seeing in these characters and for you then to read those words and feel them, that's absolutely fantastic. It's a kind of magic, isn't it? Is. it? Just it's those squiggles magic. on a page yeah. can help us so much. Absolutely. In, uh, most of my favourite books are books that have made me cry or books that have made me laugh out loud. Yes. So um, those are moments that I will take away from every book that I close and those are the moments that will make you remember because you've empathised and you've gone deeper than you maybe would have expected to.